Hello and welcome to Reactus. Our mission and passion are to share our thinking with you and link research and practice. We focus on a topical leadership or management issue in a short, lively, unscripted dialogue. Dear viewers, we are back here, as promised, with Sayed on stage. How are you doing, Sayed? I'm very well. And yourself? Thank you very much, Sayed. I'm well as well. And I hope you remain well after this video as well, because I'm loaded up with some very hard questions for you today. I'm up for it, Imran. Excellent. Let's see. So just uh, to revise and provide the context for our viewers, in the last video, we were discussing about climate change. And when, when someone talks about climate change, often still people feel that we are talking about the future. Whereas climate change is a reality impacting 2.5 billion people on this earth. Is that, is that correct, Sayed? Absolutely. It's, it's a reality what they are living as of today. And be it floods in Pakistan or fires in California or heat wave in India, Climate change has fingerprints all over it, and we are facing this reality. So our question to you, Sayed, is that everyone knows about it. I think enough awareness has been created so that even a kid realizes climate change and its consequences, but what to do about it? Very few people have an iota of understanding about that concept. So we are asking this question of you, how to manage it? And what to do about this now? Uh, Imran, I want to hold on to the point where you say that we have enough level of awareness. Uh, to be very fair, uh, over the period of time of my experience with the industry and with the students, I've realized that still there is lack of understanding on the basic concept. Uh, we talk about all these complex topics, you know, climate change, global warming and all that, but people don't understand, people don't make sense of it, what's happening. So I'd like you to allow me to go back to the drawing board and explain that basic concept that what's been happening with us, with our planet, what we have done uh, as a result of which we are experiencing all these, uh, you know, climate change uh, impact. So Imran, in normal circumstances, what happened is that sunlight travels from the sun and reaches the surface of the planet Earth and it provides us energy and heat. And, and that's the greatest source of our, uh, you know, energy. That's how we receive from the sun. But what happened is that once we have received enough energy, the sunlight goes back into the space. It should happen in normal circumstances that it should reflect back into the space, whatever the extra energy is there or heat is there. But since we have started releasing a lot of greenhouse gases into the environment, these greenhouse gases have created a kind of a sphere, a kind of a line around our planet, which stops, which holds back the sunlight from going back into this space, right? And as a result, what happens next is that our planet get warm. So that's is the basic concept that sunlight gets trapped due to these greenhouse gas emissions and we get warm. And as a result, we are experiencing all those climate changes, be it wildfires, rising sea levels, floods, heat waves, you know, just to name a few. So that's the very basic concept in run of global warming. Thank, thank you, Sayed. It's it's really uh, easy way through which you have explained for a layman like me, and I'm I'm intrigued by that. So, uh, who is basically contributing to those greenhouse emissions and that that layer being formed? Uh, what do you think about that? Um, first of all, the obvious answer is that it's it's the human race. Mm. That's we are responsible for creating that effect and uh, we are damaging our own planet. But when we categorize that, uh, who is responsible in terms of, is it the industry? Is it the uh, common consumer or the general public? Who is the responsible? So when we categorize in those numbers around, we see that business is responsible for almost 70 to 75 percent of these greenhouse gases that we release into our environment. So as, as you said, we have our fingerprints all over these crises. And so there lies a big responsibility on business to realize, first of all, that what they are releasing, what they are causing, and then put a plan together to reduce it. Very, very easy said, Sayed. I'm going to challenge you over here yeah. because with, with all the post-COVID recovery and the recession that we are already going into and the war that's happening and it's it's created a huge economic crisis, 
now you're asking to create all those plans and say it's easy, set and done. How, how do you really do it? Sayed. Imran, on first answer, I would be that yes, I agree that it's challenging times, it's post COVID recovery period. There is a looming recession on us uh, as a business. Uh, and in those times, it's not easy for business to ask them taking more of a kind of uh, climate action. But Imran, I think you'll need to get me a cup of coffee next time <laughs> to get all the answers. For this moment, I think uh, let's keep that topic for the next video. Like you're getting very details. expensive for us, Sayyad. You're getting very expensive, but we are not going to let you go. I promise I'll you that. I'll, 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 I'll hold you to it, Sayyad. So thank you very much, viewers, for watching this video. Stay tuned with us. And I show you again that we are going to bring back Sayed and ask him this hard question. He's not going to find escape out of it. Thank you very much. Till then, see you next time. Cheers.